Hello and welcome to Love My Poland. Today I am sitting with two of my three sons and we would like to begin by thanking our friend Dave from Dave's Ameriki for the offer to collaborate in this video. And you know, when you move to a foreign country like I did or start learning a foreign language, you can't help but be fascinated by the simple things like the differences in animal sounds. That's right, animal sounds. I was inspired to make this video recently when I discovered my two kids watching Old MacDonald Had a Farm in Polish and in English. They were running around the house doing the animal sounds pretty well. So I said, hey guys, would you like to do a little video with dad on this topic? Fortunately, they agreed. They are here with us today. So here we go. Today, we would like to share 12 common animals with you and demonstrate the sounds they make in both Polish and English. You be the judge of which animal sound in that language is closest to the actual sound the animal makes. It's all coming up right now. All right, so let's get started with our first animal. Jordan, will you click it to our first animal? The first animal we have today is the normal everyday cow. And in English, as you know, a cow goes moo, moo, right? I think it's similar in Polish. Jordan, can you tell me about the cow? What does the cow do? Moo. Moo. So we have a moo and we have a moo. Almost identical. Just a little bit a shorter oo and a longer oo in English, right? So moo in English, moo in Polish. All right, next animal. It is the house cat. The house cat. And of course, in English, I think everybody in the world knows this one. A cat goes meow, meow. But in Polish, the cat goes meow. I don't hear much of a difference. Maybe a slight little difference. Meow and a... Meow. Yeah, we can say it's almost the same. Just spell differently, right? Okay, thank you, Davey. The next animal, Jordan, is a... Donkey. A donkey. And of course, in English, the donkey goes hee-haw. Hee-haw. If you really want to get into it, hee-haw, hee-haw. But in Polish, the donkey makes... Eeyah, eeyah. Do that for me, David. Eeyah, eeyah. I don't know. I think the Polish one's pretty good. Which one do you think sounds more like the real donkey? The Polish one. The Polish one. Do you agree with that? Yes. The Polish one wins the battle on that one. So hee-haw and ee-aw in Polish. Wow. The next animal we have up is the mighty wise owl. And you probably know this if you're an English speaker, that the owl makes the sound hoot, hoot. But I'm pretty sure that in Polish it's totally different. What is it, Davy, in Polish? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Jordan, can you demonstrate? Uhu, uhu. Uhu and hoot. Totally different words, but I think we're close to the same sound, aren't we, right? They're both good in my opinion. The next animal up is the green frog. Now, when I tell my students, when I'm teaching them English here in Poland, that a frog makes the sound ribbit, ribbit, they think that I'm playing a nasty joke on them. They, they cannot believe that that's true. Ribbit? But when you hear it in Polish, you'll understand why. The Polish one's really different, isn't it, Jordan? How do you say ribbit, ribbit in Polish? Kum, kum. A frog makes the sound kum, kum. Do you agree with that, Davy? What is the sound? Kum, kum. Ribbit, ribbit, kum, kum. Totally, totally different. All right, thanks. Next animal. The next animal, you have a beautiful photo here of a mallard duck. And a duck, of course, makes the sound quack, quack. But David, a duck in Polish doesn't say quack quack, it says... Kwa kwa. Kwa kwa. Kwa kwa. The first time I heard someone say kwa kwa, they said it fast, two or three times. And for you English speakers out there, you know what I'm talking about. It says a different word there. So kwa kwa and quack quack. Kind of similar, but different. The next photo we have is a lovely horse. And in English, you might know that a horse makes the sound nay, nay. But in Polish, get ready for this. It doesn't say anything like nay, it says. Eeha. Eeha, right? Eeha. Eeha and nay. This is clear. Polish wins in this one, doesn't it? Eeha sounds much more like a horse than nay. All right. The next animal we have coming up is the pig. And a pig, two times, oink, oink. A pig goes oink. But get ready for this one. A pig in Polish goes... Hrum, hrum. Hrum, hrum. Oink, oink. Hrum, hrum. I don't know. You be the judge. Which one is closer to the real sound a pig makes? Oink, oink or hrum, hrum? 
The next animal we have up today is the everyday dog. And growing up in America, I really learned three ways to make the dog sound. I think the one that I know most is woof woof or rough rough, but there's also bow wow. But in Poland, I've come across only one sound the dog makes, and that is how 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 bow wow rough rough, and in Polish how how. I think they're all good. It's hard to decide, decide who is best here in this one. All right, our next animal is the rooster, or in some regions I've heard it called the cockerel. And a rooster, growing up, says cock-a-doodle-doo. Not 100% sure that in countries like Australia or the UK, they also say cock-a-doodle-doo. But listen to cock-a-doodle-doo in Polish. David? Kukuriku. Jordan? Kukuriku. Cock-a-doodle-doo, kukuriku. Again, for me, they're both good on this one. The next animal we have is the sheep. The sheep. And a sheep in English goes ba. A really strong ah sound. Ba. And in Polish it goes ba. Ba. Ba and ba. I think the only difference is a strong ah sound in English and a e eh sound in Polish. But other than that, it's the same sound, wouldn't you say? Right? Yeah. The last animal we have today is the turkey. And, of course, growing up in America, you think turkey, you think Thanksgiving, the month of November, Christmas around the corner. And a turkey in English goes gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Does it say the same thing in Polish? Gul gul. What did you say? Gul gul. Gobble gobble, gul gul. Totally, completely different sounds. But when you listen to a turkey carefully, it does kind of have a gul gul, gul gul sound. So I can see where that comes from in Polish. Well, thank you for watching, and thanks again to our friend Dave from Dave's Ameriki. If you haven't seen Dave's channel, you are so missing out. He has made hundreds of videos on highly interesting topics that I believe are perfect for most of my audience from Love My Poland. I'm putting a link in the description for you to check it out. If you like his content, be sure to click his subscribe button. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, click that button right up here on the bottom of the map so you don't miss out and you can become a subscriber. Please be safe out there and see you in the next episode.